All right, well, welcome back to the channel. Behind me, 2011 Ford F-350, six, seven power stroke. I'm gonna go over all the things I like about this truck and everything I dislike about it. So this truck right here is a 2011. It's currently sitting at 128,000 miles, although it does not have the original engine in it. The original engine only lasts about 90,000 miles in this truck. Spit a rod out the block, got a brand new long block from Ford. Uh, and the long, new long block only has about 38,000 miles on it. As you can see, four wheel drive, dually, F-350. F-350s, crew cab comes as a, as a long bed, so you have an eight foot bed here in the back, which is nice for pulling trailers like I pull. I pull car trailers that have a wedge on it or a gooseneck enclosed trailer. Gives you a lot of room uh, to make sure you don't get into the cab of your truck. So some things that have been changed on this truck, it's got aftermarket headlights. It's got painted to match mirrors, painted to match door handles. If you come around back here, it's got aftermarket taillights, painted to match uh, handle for the tailgate. I do have a brand new plastic piece for there and a brand new Ford emblem for the back of this. This truck did originally come from Florida, which I'll show you something interesting with it being from Florida. You can see this truck's a Lariat, all right? A Lariat, pretty much in 2011, should be fully loaded, right? Well, comes with everything but heated seats. Got the sunroof in it, and it comes with tan interior, which is big when coming from Florida. Being as hot as it is, you don't find uh, heated seats and you find light color interiors. So like I said, truck's currently sitting at 128,000 miles and does have an edge monitor with a five position switch. If you know what that means, I'll leave it to that. One thing I love about Fords, space in the back seat. This truck is just about as clean as it gets, having almost 130,000 miles in it. If you can see, shout out the Brunt Boots for the sponsor. I'm uh, I'm probably 5'10 or so, and uh, I've got plenty of room sitting back here. I've had three full-size people in here in the back. Let's have like a, if you look here, flip down cup holder, which is nice. Cup holder's here, as well as a 110 volt plug, standard. All right, so I just hopped back up in the truck and started it up here. Now this truck does get about, without pulling a trailer, it will do on the highway between 15 and 18 miles to a gallon. And towing a trailer, anywhere, depending on the trailer and the weight, I've gotten between 10 to 14 even sometimes with pulling like a, a horse trailer. You can get about 14 miles to a gallon in this got the edge monitor in here it's got everything from boost engine coolant temper engine coolant temperature intake air temp we got engine oil temperature fuel level gear trans temperature oh. as well as rpm battery voltage having this thing has saved me before when I had a belt that came off this truck Now, I told you all the things I like about this truck. There's really not much I dislike, except for one thing. No engine brake. Pulling a heavy load with this trailer, you can wear brakes out really quickly without having an engine brake. Coming from, I, I've personally driven every single truck of the big three, whether it be Cummins, Duramax, Power Stroke. Cummins by far has the best exhaust brake. Everybody knows that. Um, but the towing power and the stopping power in this without an exhaust brake is great. So I really can't complain there other than having to replace brakes probably more frequently, but it has just enough power. Um, it did lose some weight on this truck, 
to uh, improve, improve fuel economy and uh, just to make this truck last as long as possible. So I have quite a few trucks I can do reviews on and that's why I'm doing that on this channel here. I want to separate that from my other content. Um, we'll be reviewing Cummins. We'll, it's just pretty much automotive related. I will be going over all types of different vehicles as I find myself driving and owning and operating just about a little bit of everything. So we'll see you on the next video guys. Uh, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for us and we'll see you on the next one.